Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a special video because I'm actually back home um, and I I call, I still call Hawaii my home just because it was where I was born and raised and um, yeah, anyways. So I'm back in Hawaii um, on the island of Oahu. Uh, my husband and I are staying at Aulani and that is the Disney hotel and it's a beautiful hotel so um, when I have the opportunity I'm actually going to try and do some vlogging out there because it is gorgeous um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just really excited about it. But I actually am here because I wanted to share a purchase that I made um, yesterday. went to Ala Moana um, and Ala Moana is this giant shopping outdoor shopping mall um, on the island of Oahu um, and I mean every single designer store is probably at Ala Moana so I did a little bit of shopping um, but I wanted to share with you what I purchased at Louis Vuitton um, and this actually what I purchased um, it wasn't actually on my list of things that I wanted to buy so I had the booklet and I think I shared it with you all um, in my last video of my wish list and everything that I wanted. Well, funny thing is, is I didn't buy what was on my wish list. So I, I actually had intended on going there and I kind of talked myself into getting the Neverfull because I just thought it was just such a practical bag and it's a tote bag. I love tote bags and you know, a lot of people had it and that was probably what was keeping me from buying the Neverfull. But I thought, you know what, a lot of people have it because of a good reason, it's practical, it's functional, so I thought it would be a good idea. So I went to the Louis Vuitton store um, intending on buying the Neverfull. However, I got sidetracked by what I just purchased. Um, and there was a review done by SYS, SYSZ, um, I think her name's Susan, and she had bought this purse and I thought it was beautiful um, when she had purchased it, but um, I thought it might be a little bit too big for me, but when I went into the store and actually carried it, tried it on, um, I thought it was perfect and I fell in love with this purse. So even though it wasn't on my wish list and I really didn't stay focused on my visit to Louis Vuitton, um, I did get something that I thought was beautiful and that I think I, I will really um, enjoy using. Um, so let me get to what I got that I purchased. And I don't have it in the box just because um, I am traveling, so I just um, have the the dust bag. So this is what I got. The Estrella in the new model in the um, NM. So there is kind of a story to this. So I was actually at the Louis Vuitton store, and I thought... I think I said in my previous video that like I would never spend like an hour in the store, but I think I actually did spend an hour. Um, partly because we were waiting for the bag, but the other part was because I was just going through different things. Anyways, long story short, I inspected this, this exact purse before actually buying it and looked at like I was really paying attention to the hardware for whatever reason. However, when I got home last night, I looked at... I looked at the canvas here and I noticed that there was, you see it right here? And this is not from the bag being smashed or it's not from like, an, it, like it's almost as if it's, I don't know if you can see that, but, and it's on this side too. So it's like almost like a U shape. And I can't believe I didn't see this in the store because I actually did spend some time like looking at this purse but again I was really focused on like the hardware note to self like look over the canvas because I didn't really expect this to have that in there and I just I don't know I didn't notice it but now you know when I got it back to the hotel room and I took it out and I looked at it I noticed like gosh it, I mean I tried to like rub it to make sure that it wasn't just um, an indent but it really isn't it looks like there's kind of almost like my husband described it described it as like a stamping here and here um, and on this side as well so I don't know for those of you who have this purse like do you notice like is there something here I mean do, I don't know if you've experienced the same issue but it's almost as if like there's like a u-shaped stamping here and you can kind of tell a little bit so you know at first because I'm not one to return but at first I was like okay do I what do I do like do I return it do I just, 
you know, suck it up and just keep it or what. So I actually decided to, or I am going to, I haven't done it yet, obviously, because I still have the purse, but I'm going to exchange it. Um, hopefully the purse, um, the purse is on hold right now. So when I go back to the store, they have it on hold. Um, hopefully the purse that I actually end up getting is going to be one that doesn't have this U shape right here. So, and again, I don't know how I know, I don't know how I missed it at the store because I felt like I actually took time to go over the purse and usually I am like in such a rush to get in and get out that I don't, but anyway, so this is the purse that I actually ended up getting and I absolutely love it. Um, maybe in another video I will do a kind of a what's in my purse or, or kind of show you what it looks like on me. Um, I'm not really in a situation where I can film well because it's a little, I don't know, I'm just not comfortable here. So anyways, this is what it looks like in the inside, like a black microfiber. It's very beautiful. Um, very nice on the inside. So anyways, I'm hoping that when I go back and exchange it for um, another one that everything will be perfect. But if not, we will see. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. All right, talk to you all later. Bye. Okay, so quick update, and this time I'm actually holding the um, iPad. I was re-watching the video that I just filmed, and I noticed that the U shape on the purse is w exactly where the handles are. So that U, like, on, and duh, on both sides with the U shape. So I'm not sure. So I don't know, like, if it was packed, maybe it was packed on the handle, and it just caused this, like indent into the purse or or what the issue is but I have a feeling that the u-shape indent is from the handle and I don't know why it took me having to watch the video again to figure it out but yeah I thought I'd share that with you so I don't know what they'll say um at the Louis Vuitton store but I will keep you all posted alrighty bye